Hey everyone, Victor here, Director and Lead Engineer of Charging Ecosystems and Energy Storage, and I got something exciting to show you. What you can see back here is a little bit of a facelift that we gave our charging station, but it's just what's inside that really matters. We amped up the juice in this. We got DC fast charging, CCS charging, J1772 charging, and we're gonna show you some exciting things in a moment over here. Let's go hook it up. So the key is simplicity. You're not gonna see any screens. You're not gonna see a lot of like bells and whistles and whatnot. The key here is about maximum power that the vehicle can deliver. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna hook it up. We're gonna hook up a CCS charging. And the current design requires you to push a button. So we're gonna push a button just to start the charge. You're not gonna hear anything, which is a good thing. We don't wanna hear noise. And if you look over here, you're gonna see it start charging in a moment. And then we're gonna go in the vehicle. And what you're gonna notice is every vehicle is different. Some vehicles can take 100 kilowatts of charge rate, some can take 200 kilowatts of charge rate. But the whole point here is that the Atlas charger can deliver a charge of whatever your vehicle requires, which is why you don't have to figure out which Atlas station is uh, gonna power up your car. Like some stations require only 30 kilowatts. So you can see over here, it's ramping up this particular car at the moment, it's taking 35 kilowatts. And uh, there you go, you got yourself fast charging. All designed and built by Atlas. Now let's go try some other cars. Let's check it out. Now I've got to point out, this is not the final station design. This is our prototype design and it gets us going off on everything in terms of how it's going to uh, feel, the user experience, uh, the hardware that's required inside, all the safety mechanisms and whatnot. Let's check this out. Now, simplicity is the key. You know the standard ISO 15118, other people know it as plug and charge. Some vehicles have it, some people don't, some vehicles don't. And in our particular instance, uh, we do have a push button that we use. Uh, not always required though. So check this out. Gonna unplug, open it up. Now it's plugged in and watch it start charging. It takes a couple seconds for the initialization between the vehicle and the charging station itself. And once it establishes, it's gonna give it all the power it can receive. Boom. Now, we got more for you. We got another car. So we got ourselves another vehicle, another electric vehicle, and we're gonna plug it in, start charging. I can tell you, I'm pretty excited. It's a, a lot of work put into this. In this case, I'm gonna start the charge. And then every vehicle manufacturer is different in how they uh, signify that the vehicle is charging. In this particular vehicle, you can see over here that when it's charging, it's a flashing blue light. In other vehicles, you might find a flashing green light. Uh, and every vehicle manufacturer is different, so you have to make sure that you understand uh, in what condition your vehicle is charging or there's a fault or you need to initiate a charge. All right, so I'm gonna leave this car over here charging because one of our workers here at Atlas needs to get home today. And what, what better way of charging the vehicle than fast charging using our own technology? It's incredible, I love it. It's, uh, it really means a lot to me. So in terms of the next updates on this, besides the aesthetics updates that you're gonna see some uh, LED lighting and we're gonna make it look a little bit prettier for the public, but it's what's inside that really matters. So we're focused heavily on the software side, uh, especially like the ISO 15118, that's the plug and charge. We need to uh, make sure that's compatible across all different vehicles. As we gave you an example today, we gave you uh, three vehicles that we charged. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of safety enhancements within to ensure that uh, it's, it's reliable, that you're never gonna have any issues, and a bunch of other software updates within. So, uh, although the next video might not be as exciting, but it's, it's a major milestone for us to get this out on the road. Appreciate it, thank you. Stay tuned for the next one.